Hello, um, I'm going to show you how to create a user's team within HubSpot. Um, so if you are logged into your HubSpot account, you'll probably enter into this portal unless you have um, signified HubSpot that you want to have a different homepage. There's another video on that, by the way. Um, you're going to go to the settings wheel and then navigate to users and teams. We have three users in our account. Um, this is where you can add or create new users, but right now we're going to focus on this team section. So we've created a team called sales team. Um, if you'd like to create a new team, maybe it's a marketing team or an operations team. Maybe it's um, decision makers or owners, managers. Uh, you really can, anybody who is a user in HubSpot, you can add them to a team. So what you're going to do is you're going to click create team name this team so we'll call this the marketing team you can assign parent team so maybe you have multiple types of marketing teams maybe you got a video team a copy team a strategy team um, so what you can do is you can have a parent team um, but for this uh, example we're not going to have a parent team um, and then you're going to select the primary to primary users um, so you'll notice that these are all grayed out that is because these users are already part of um, already primary users in the sales team. But you can add them as additional members to the marketing team. Um, so we'll add Francis and Megan and um, click Save. So let's say that we want to make Adrian the primary user. All we have to do is remove her from the sales team click save, and then we'll go back to marketing team and we'll make her the primary user. So that's how you create a sales team. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, the reason why you would want to create a sales team is so that you can um, send internal notifications to a team uh, via workflows or form fills instead of um, having to designate a specific user within a workflow. Um, so it, it makes it easier once you, when you're in the hiring or firing process uh, to remove or add new users that you are adding to your HubSpot account. So it's pretty, uh, it's probably the easiest way to manage um, internal changes to make sure that nobody um, gets left out of a workflow. So that's how you create and manage teams within HubSpot.